match number six, first half of the World Combat League. Kelly Leo for the Miami Force and Derek Panzer for the New York Clash. The big boys are in the ring. Uh, Derek Panzer, I think, might pull this out for New York based on his record. His first three matches for first round KOs in kickboxing. Well, Panzer's the world heavyweight kickboxing champion. If anybody can take it from 15 to 0 here with a knockout, it would be Panzer, and that would put Miami, or rather New York, ahead for the half. Would give New York an enormous amount of momentum heading into the half if they could get the KO here. Panza, consummate pro, he's biding his time, but he fights in spurts. He's a heavy, heavy hitter. Three quarters of his wins have been by KO. Very nice hand. You notice again with the leg kick, the rules are that if you do throw a leg kick, you must follow up with a hand combination. Otherwise, you can be penalized. Again, that's just to keep the action flowing, keep fighters going out with combinations. Kelly Leo looks like he's got some extra weight on him, but he is deceptively fast, and he's got 20 KMs out of his 36 wins. Both of these fighters, 34 years old. There's a knee strike came from um, Panzer. Nice technique. We're not seeing a lot of knees so far, and it's such an incredibly valuable weapon in a full contact match. Well, the knee allows you uh, another weapon when you're in close. It's not just the hands, but you're able to bring that knee up. And if the other fighter is watching your hands up, sometimes you can sneak that knee into the midsection. Absolutely. The big key to that, though, is you got to sneak the knee without holding the back of the guy's head. You that's exactly. it. Exactly. You cannot clinch in order to deliver the knee. Uh, that's a big difference between World Combat League fighting and Muay Thai. Both fighters opting more for hand combinations now. It's a little more of a boxing match we're seeing at the moment. I think, again, with the size of these guys, the amount of energy and effort it takes to kick, you tend, when you get a little gas, to want to resort to hands. It's a more natural thing for any fighter to use. Doesn't take as much energy, doesn't deplete the glycogen stores nearly as much as throwing kicks, especially if you've got some pretty heavy thighs on you. And both of these fighters are very experienced also, and they know that that second round, that, that second bout that they're going to fight each other after halftime, although there's a big rest period in between, if they don't pace themselves in the first bout, then they will be a little dead for the second. That was a nice round kick to the head by Panzer, followed up with a knee and some hand combinations. I would have expected Panzer to go a little harder, though, for New York, for his team, in order to get the knockout and get maximum points at this stage. Yeah, I don't think they want to go in the locker room down by 14. He's got to get an advantage here. So far, uh, he'd be ahead on my card. Panzer's more aggressive, he's landing more shots. I think Kelly Leo's a little more tired than uh, Panzer at this stage, but again, if, if, if Panzer could just pull it out and really go for that knockout, it'd do a lot for his team. There's that knee again from Panzer. That right knee is working really well for the midsection of uh, Kelly Leo. It is, and Leo keeps dropping those hands. After he punches, he drops them. I'm surprised Panzer's not coming over the top on that. Uh, evidence that he is dog tired here late. Exactly. And Doug, you bear up with the one. The first thing you do when you get tired is your hands drop. And you don't even know it a lot of the time. It'll be interesting to see how this one comes out. Here's that roundhouse kick by Panzer coming up. You see it that left it just kind of clipped him across the jaw and the nose. Not a solid shot. Probably would have put him down if it had been. But he took advantage of, have, of, of uh, Leo dropping his hands. This is a little bit later in the bout. And you see Leo is, is trying to be more aggressive. Just doesn't have the hand speed or the accuracy of Derek Panzer. Panzer grabs 16 points for New York. Leo only 11 for Miami. Six bouts down, six to go. We're at halftime. Miami still has the lead, but only by nine. I have to say, it was good fighting Kelly because we're two real kickboxers showing kickboxing technique. And uh, I think the second round is going to be a faster paced version of the first. I think winning also. 98 94 Miami. Next bout, Derek Panza coming back after winning 16-11 in the first half. He represents the New York Clash. It's the big boys. He's taking on Kelly the Lion Leo again for the Miami Force right there. Well, if I was the coach for New York, I would be telling Panza to just get busy, use his power, and really take this match and get New York back into the game. Nice kick from Panza. And conversely, if I was Leo's coach, John Morrison, I would be telling him, protect the lead, protect the lead. Don't get too fancy, don't take too many risks. Panza is a very dangerous fighter. 
Hans is probably one of the most powerful guys in the New York team. He's got the ability. They need him to get inside and to swing hard and to kick hard and to do away. And, and we go back to round. Oh, oh nice right. <laughs> Left round kick then from Panzer. Again, scoring off a nice hand combination. He gets the hip wound up. Plenty of talk to lead into that round kick. We go back to the first bout, guys. We remember when we got down to the minute mark or so left, these guys were completely out of gas. So it served hands that are really strike early and strike hard. Maybe he can just do away with them. And this, and this is one of the things about this type of competition is to give the fighters enough rest between the two matches that they come, can come out, be revitalized, and give it 100% once again. But both of these fighters are 34 years old. That doesn't seem very old for someone in a contact sport like this, but this style of fighting is very aerobic type fighting. You are going all out for three minutes. Doesn't sound like much, but it's an eternity when somebody's trying to take your head off, and they burn a lot of energy quickly. And with a four-point margin, this is a critical fight for New York. They're down by four. They need Panzer to really come up with a flurry here. Do some damage. I'd like to see Panzer get busy here. He's still not doing enough. Kelly's hanging in there with him, which is not good enough in New York. New York could need to score these extra points. Yes, and, Lee, and Leo is fighting back when he needs to. He's protecting the lead. He's probably going to lose this bout, but if he can keep it very close, then they'll still be ahead. Panzer says he looks in better shape, you know? I mean, he's not he's not breathing as hard, but again, he's not doing enough. He's not getting busy enough. And some nice knees again from uh, Kelly there. As you notice, not holding onto the neck, which is within the rules when you throw a knee strike. I'll tell you, Leo has also scored two or three times with that straight left to the head. Very accurate with it. One thing I can say for the, the Lion here is he's not fancy, but he knows what he does well. Absolutely. He's picking his shots, and he's really hanging in there. This is a very even match so far. Even bodes better for Miami than it does for York. Oh, oh, that left hook, that hurt Panza. Leo getting more aggressive now. He always popped a couple of nice lefts. Oh, good end, left. That was... Uh, I think that was Panzer's best punch of the fight, Richard. Absolutely. Both fighters looking tired, though, as we said. It's, it's anaerobic, meaning without oxygen. As I said, it's like sprinting, and these fighters' lungs now are saying, okay, I'm ready to stop. Well, we just had a two-punch combination to the body and the head left hook, and another one by Panzer, but it has no effect on Leo. Guys, this is turning into the same story between these two guys as, as the first bout. Uh, Leo is doing a great job for Miami, even though he's probably going to lose. He's hanging in there, keeping points in the pen. And I wouldn't even separate him by much. I'd be, you know, maybe a 5 four, but there wasn't a lot in there. Hands of 15 points, no great surprise, but Leo hangs in with nine for Miami. Probably a little more of a spread than I would have thought, but that's a little bit And a little bit of leapfrog, guys. The New York Flash, the local favorites here in Connecticut, have now taken the lead with just two bouts to go. I felt almost everything I hit him with was landing pretty Joe solid. Punches. That guy's number you know, one. Huh? I don't know, man. <laughs> My shins are bruised up and kicking me in the head. No, I know. He's a tough guy. Oh.